guys i am rohit krishna i am working as preventive officer in chennai customs i got this job through cgl 2019 in which my all india rank is 1114 other than this i have also cleared cgl 2018 in which my all india rank was around 7000 and i got udc in border road organization through cgl 2018 and in chsl 2018 my all india rank was uh, 1764 and i got uh, postal assistant through chsl and i have also worked as postal assistant in uh, andhra pradesh so and regarding my educational qualifications i have clear completed my btech from jawaharlal nehru technological university kakinada in petroleum engineering and i have passed out from uh, jnt uk in 2018 and um, initially my target was to clear upsc examination but uh, considering the competition and uh, uh, other things i have uh, took a decision to write uh, cgl as i am very good at uh, objective papers and uh, i i always considered uh, i have always considered my maths as uh, good so i took the decision of writing cgl when i was studying my btech final year so immediately after clearing completing my btech i have started preparing for uh, cgl initially i have joined uh, a coaching in should but later on uh, i came out of it uh, due to a uh, lack of uh, proper guidance from the teaching staff then i have prepared my own strategy and uh, accordingly i have prepared for uh, cgl um in we all know that in cgl uh, there will be a lot of importance for uh, mathematics reasoning and uh, uh, english and general awareness so uh, for mathematics uh, actually i was uh, good at uh, mathematics so uh, in in the initial days uh, i didn't give much importance to mathematics and uh, i gave utmost importance to english as uh, i felt that my english was a bit weak when compared to the, to that of other subjects and uh, considering my general awareness uh, i have literally zero skills in uh, general awareness but um, so for uh, all these uh, subjects i have uh, prepared uh, in individual strategies so here my math strategy was like uh, i used to prepare maths from uh, quicker maths uh, magical book on quicker maths by m tera this uh, if, if from this book i have uh, cleared my arithmetic tro- topics and then uh, from rakesh yadav sir class notes uh, i u- i have prepared for uh, uh, advanced mathematics after initially after covering uh, all the syllabus i used to practice uh, a lot of sums from rakesh yadav 7300 plus book previously it used to be 7300 but nowadays i think uh, it is uh, the book has changed to 10200 plus something like that then um, uh, this is the strategy i have used for maths and then for english uh, i used to study a lot like uh, whatever the news article whatever the magazine movies uh, cricket commentary whatever it is uh, i used to just study uh, in english uh, especially in cgl english they will test our comprehension skills so first of all you guys need to be very 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 good at comprehending what was given to you so uh, in order to have the good comprehension skills you must be very good at vocabulary and simultaneously grammar also for grammar i used to study uh, kd campus uh, english book uh, written by neetu ma'am uh that's i think that's the best book for uh, english grammar with respect to cgl only like see if, uh, it's um, that book is meant uh, only for uh, i i feel that uh, is meant only for cgl uh, you don't need to go for any other book uh, with respect to grammar uh, for cgl other than kd campus uh, neetu ma'am's book volume 1 especially and um, for vocabulary i used to revise a lot and uh, for vocabulary also i used uh, neetu ma'am's uh, volume 1 book and uh, simultaneously i used uh, uh, kiran's publications 10200 plus uh, uh, previous year uh, questions book compilation previous year compilation book where i used to by heart a lot of uh, uh, synonyms antonyms like that 
and for comprehension um, uh, i have already said uh, i used to read a lot of uh, english magazines english uh, articles whatever it may be uh, um, like uh, i am very much interested in studying uh, reading about uh, cricket so i used to read uh, uh, articles about cricket so that and here main thing is you have to uh, revise the vocabulary while studying the articles like if you see uh there will be two ways of learning uh, english vocabulary first one is active learning and second one is passive uh, so active learning means uh, the things which we by heart from books and passive learning means it comes uh, through experience like that okay so initially i used to by heart uh, from books and then uh, while reading news articles or uh, some english magazines i used to get these words again so like that i got those words uh, revised okay and uh, whatever the grammar rules i have studied from the book i used to apply while studying while reading the articles like uh, whenever i study uh, whenever i read any article in google or uh, anywhere uh, i used to just observe whether the grammar rules which i have studied are applying here or not so by that way my grammar used to be revised and my vocabulary used to be revised and it got strengthened a lot after immediately after completing uh, your uh, like vocabulary grammar and everything you have to practice a lot and for, for practice you have to follow uh, for, for practice i have i have particularly followed kiran prakashan's 10200 plus uh, previous year book uh, which helped me a lot and in initial days uh, i also used uh, word power made easy by norman lewis this is an actually magical book for those who are at beginning stage uh, i recommend to study this book uh, at least twice so that uh, your comprehension skills will be increased enormously and for reasoning uh, i used to i just did nothing because uh, back in those uh, years like in 2017 18 and 19 it used to be easy a bit so i just uh, revised uh, recent year questions like uh, i used to study just questions uh, for the pa- for, for the past 3 years that's it and uh, i used to uh, write uh, whatever the difficult questions that were asked in past 3 years and i just by hearted them revised them accordingly and uh, other than that i have did uh, nothing and um, you can use uh, youtube videos uh, if you are uh, not comfortable in any particular topic with regarding to reasoning and um, then general awareness actually uh, i have literally zero knowledge in general awareness so um, so i have initially started with uh, studying uh, gk lucent book and then um, i used to study uh, current affairs from grade up monthly magazine and uh, gk today current affairs quiz so these two helped me a lot for current affairs and uh, in lucent uh, there will be a lot of facts uh, information so my suggestion is don't study everything from lucent it will take a lot of time for you to study or complete the whole lucent descriptive book so first of all you guys need to do one thing like uh, just go through the previous year papers of uh, cgl general awareness and chsl general general awareness and cpo papers then you will get an basic idea about what ssc is concentrating what ssc is asking then only concentrate on those topics which were asked by ssc okay so uh, for when i was studying i have observed that uh, in history ssc mostly concentrates on uh, uh, delhi sultanate mughal empire architecture of india and uh, battles uh, and uh, gandhi uh, freedom movement uh, in ancient india uh it ancient in ancient history uh, they used to ask questions from buddhism jainism and uh, indus valley civilization etc etc like this so first of all you need to find out what are the topics that are important and then you need to study only those topics that are important and leave the rest the rest of the topics 
this will uh, give you a lot of uh, time for, you know to prepare for other subjects also so in physics and chemistry uh, there will be questions from you in, in chemistry there will be questions from inventions uh, who is father of uh, which uh, thing and um, uh, units etc etc definitions important definitions uh, newton's third law first law second law and formulas like uh, uh, f equal to ma like these uh, definitions will be a lot of uh, and uh, applications of these major uh, uh, definitions like uh, how is newton's third law applied in our regular life they will ask about these applications a lot Mm, this used to be my strategy and uh, i used to practice a lot and um, i i used to give mock tests through grade up and uh, test book and ssc tubes uh, uh, weekly uh, free weekly examination like that uh, i don't know if it is there right now or not but the, when i used to prepare it was there so um, uh, with this uh, it helped me a lot to crack this exam and uh, uh, in 2018 examination i have committed a lot of uh, i made a lot of mistakes like uh, uh, i used to feel that uh, my strength is uh, mathematics but um, so this led me to overconfidence and uh, i didn't practice well so uh, i was not able to perform up to the mark in examination and uh, i didn't know how to write the exam also at the time i didn't have proper strategy to write the exam at the time so i i uh, failed to score good marks then uh, after uh, clearing after uh, completing my uh, 2018 and after getting uh, uh, answer key i have analyzed the paper a lot of times remember i have analyzed a lot of times whatever the exam you need you have to you want to write just exam first analyze previous year papers just analyze a lot of papers so that you can get fair idea what the board wants from you what they are asking what you need to study so after analyzing i have observed that most of the questions that were asked in cgl tier 2 were of uh, average level and um, in 100 questions around uh, 80 questions will be known to us even before going to the examinations actually they were uh, eight, those 80 questions were asked from previous year papers so just just practice previous year questions that's it that's more than enough and uh, uh, pr- uh, when i was uh, preparing uh, for 2019 i made a small change in my practice sessions like uh, i used to do uh, 50 questions in 30 minutes in mathematics this improved my speed a lot so whenever i used to practice like that uh, in my mind it should uh, it uh, used to say that okay time is ticking time is ticking you have to do this you have to do this uh, i created artificial pressure inside my mind so that helped me a lot in uh, improving my speed so the the and uh, in in english uh, i didn't revise properly during my 2018 exam and i have uh, referred a lot of books a lot of books other than this uh, uh, other than those books that i have mentioned previously i have uh, re- uh, read a lot of other books also like sp bakshi and uh, um, some uh, some other books also i have referred but that's a grave mistake that i have done during my 2018 preparation and uh, what you guys have to do is just simply study from one book for 10 times rather than studying 10 books for one time okay this golden rule i got to know after my 2018 examination so after that i have followed this exam uh, after that i followed this uh, uh, study one book for 10 times and um, i got uh, good marks in cgl 2019 in ex- english examination and for uh, tier 3 uh, i think you guys uh, have no tier 3 uh, so you can um, uh, you can just uh, leave that Uh, descriptive examination there is no uh, significance for you to prepare see uh, that and during our time uh, while uh, i was writing cgl 2019 uh, the ssc used to take a lot of time but now uh, i think uh, it will be reduced significantly 
and uh, SSC has also made the question paper uh, so like uh, you have you guys have to have more concentration on all the subjects and uh, uh, first of all uh, you guys go through the notification and uh, you guys go through syllabus and uh, uh, see last three four years uh, CGL question papers uh, so that uh, you can get okay what they want what we need to prepare ourselves to crack this examination and uh, for mathematics just follow the rule which I have already said like 50 questions in 30 minutes that will be very helpful and revise n number of times practice n number of times study one book for 10 times but not 10 books for one time and um, uh, read news articles uh, what's happening around you current affairs all these to make sure you are updated so and uh, for English you can also refer novels um, etc etc so uh, this is the strategy I have followed so thank you for listening guys